What do you think about risk five? Uh, well, <clears throat> risk five is not a hardware design. It's an instruction set design. And its virtue is that it's not covered by patents, as far as anyone can tell. So if you want to design a processor, it's useful to have RISC-V. You know, implement that instruction spec, and you avoid one kind of danger. So I think in, in that sense, RISC-V is a good thing. But it's not a design for a computer you can use. It's just a step towards one. And what do you think, what are your views on free hardware in general? <clears throat> the concept of free hardware doesn't make sense. That is, if you want it to be analogous to free software, that particular definition of free does not make sense for physical objects. It makes sense for a program precisely because it's not a physical object. It's an idealized mathematical object, although it is useful in practice with a computer. <clears throat> what does make sense is to ask whether a given hardware design is free. A design is something like a program. It's a a work that is sort of mathematical, it, it, uh, it's about parts and how they relate to each other. So a, a, a design is also a, a kind of work of authorship. So in those respects it is like a program, whereas a, phys a physical piece of hardware is not. So we, instead of asking is this computer or this uh, uh, flashlight free, we should ask, is this designed for a computer or is this designed for a flashlight? Are those designs free? Take a look at gnu.org slash philosophy slash free hardware designs dot html. <coughs>